Utility rooms come in all different shapes and sizes, but we have some very clever tricks to make sure that you can get the most out of your space. It's really important to think about the flooring, the lighting, the colours that you're using in the space and the type of storage that you need. As an example, I have a rather unusual shape utility room here. It's quite small in terms of the size of the space that we can actually use. We have an entrance or back entrance into the property here and then this doorway leads into the rest of the house. Washing machine, sink, tumble dryer and then some storage used here to try and hide that angle of that wall but also to give the customer extra storage. You can see here we've used a nice fun colour with a really interesting pattern floor to make the space a bit more fun. On the other side you can see here continued on the theme of the pink colour, storage underneath, a nice wooden bench to contrast the painted cabinetry. When considering your utility room you might want to look at it as an extension of your kitchen and by that I mean looking to tie them in as one space. One way to do that would be to have the same floor continuing through the kitchen into the utility space as well as carrying on the theme of the cabinetry in terms of colour, style, worktop, handle, etc. Alternatively, you could look to go completely different. So keep the kitchen in one colour with one flooring, certain lighting, handle, etc. And then you, in the utility space, go for something completely different. Customers have all sorts of different requirements for their utility rooms, depending on their family, their family's needs. We've done things from dog beds, cat beds, cat entrances into the space. Because we're a bespoke company, we can do all those things and make it work in one cohesive space.